Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Trophy Titans is finally here. We've had the leaks. We kind of know what to expect for today, but will EA show us any surprises? Will there be anything about today's promo with the Trophy Titan heroes and the icons that will come as a surprise? There are some rumors that I want to talk about that could just do that, but also we're going to talk a lot about the market today because if this promo is really just heroes and icons, will there be a lot of market impact since so many many people won't be packing those cards today just because it's hard to pack them. We know that. And just because those cards are going to be really expensive. I think there's one SBC today that could have more market impact than the promo cards themselves and all of that related content today. So we're going to talk about that. If this video helps you out at all today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. I want to show you guys really quickly what EA have just done that is an absolute W. If you missed it, remember they dropped only one token yesterday in marquee matchups. And that was, we needed two, right? We needed two tokens to get to 30 total that EA had dropped in the game. They just did it right here in the moments section. You go into the moments store and you can pick up this token for zero stars. So that is EA uh, giving us that last token that they, I guess, forgot to put in the moments store during the course of the foot birthday swaps program. So two tokens were added yesterday, of course, the first one in marquee matchups and the second one right there. So if you have not done that, go ahead and get your free one. I'm, I'm glad that EA made it free and didn't require us to actually spend uh, the moments tokens to go ahead and get that. Yesterday was a pretty quiet day, right? We did have marquee matchups and we had this Nicolas Gonzalez SBC, four star, five star, Nothing too crazy there. Uh, if you want that for your team, go ahead and get it. But I don't think it's something to go too crazy about. But again, in general, we're ending off a pretty solid foot birthday promo. I know we were really disappointed at the very beginning with the stat upgrades and how these cards looked coming off of their, you know, other previous special versions like Darwin Nunez, Felix getting really small upgrades. But EA did do a bit better in week two with the icons and with the foot birthday cards that are in packs with some bigger upgrades. And let's be honest, guys, the SBCs were, were pretty on par they did a really good job with the sbcs uh a lot of very meta cards were released so ea gg for a foot birthday didn't look absolutely insane it wasn't the best foot birthday ever but it was solid especially with tons of objective and sbc content besides the player sbcs it was a w in my opinion but we're turning the page today and what i want to do really quickly we've looked over this stuff already but i want to just make sure you guys get a right rundown of what we are expecting on this game today this is the team of players that we are expecting today a couple more might be added this might be plus or minus one or two players right we know lucio we know yaga Toure. we of course know the players on the loading screen right landon donovan roberto carlos and del piero are the players that are on the loading screen and the roberto carlos and the del piero show with five Five star weak foot or sorry five star skills as well that would mean del p would be five star five star so i don't know which players are going to be impacts today and which ones would be from the mini release but uh a mixture of some of all these icons that we're looking at here should be available in the game today what it comes down to to me for these cards is number one the pack weight which we kind of know is going to be pretty tough to pack these cards um anyway they're icons and they're heroes right but will ea juice up the pack weight maybe a little bit uh more skill move weak foot upgrades would be the second thing that I want to know about and then the third thing is there there have been some rumors and some mentioning about some of these cards potentially having two versions um, and I don't exactly know what that's going to look like. We don't have two different card designs, but we didn't have two different card designs for like the foot birthday guys like Ganduzi or Darwin Nunez, right? Who have that dual potential. So somehow, some way today, there's going to be a dual I guess, aspect to some of these cards. One rumor that's going around out there is that like maybe Yagatori gets a 90 or 91 rated um, Trophy Titans card, but then there's like a junior or a baby version that would be cheaper on the market that would have maybe a bit lesser stats that's more affordable. And maybe that's how EA can get um, the lower budget players interested today on the game. Because honestly, this promo does feel like it's just for people with a ton of coins, which if you're EA, you don't really want to do that. but So I'm so curious to see if any of that comes true today, what the two versions things looks like, and if there are any other surprises besides that. Now, one thing we learned yesterday that is a absolutely incredible dub, and this is actually history making on this game, is they're going to be doing an icon player in objectives, it sounds like, and it's Bergkamp. 
a decent card. I hope he gets that huge pace boost that this uh, predicted stats card, 93 rated with 88 pace is showing. This would be incredible, man. EA, I believe, has never dropped an icon player in objectives. We've had icon packs, we've had icon SBCs, but I don't think we've ever had a technically free icon to be able to go and grind. So this would be kind of massive, especially if they give him a nice boost. I'm sure they wouldn't make it easy, right? I mean, you have to go right now and look inside of uh, objectives and milestones and see that you have to play a good amount of games, uh, win five, score 10 assists, uh, 15 goals. So not too many games for like this Santa Cruz, but you guys know how some of the objectives have worked throughout this year. The foot birthday party, you got to win 10 squad battles matches to get an 85 plus times five. And then that 86 plus from the team one foot birthday party objective. So there's no way they're going to make a Dennis Birdcam uh, objective today be really, really easy to do, but that's just, that's just cool. That's flat out cool. Let's be honest. Hopefully the card today for Birdcamp is boosted. Hopefully he has five star skills or probably more likely a five a weak foot like his icon moments card has had in years past but that's kind of one piece of content i'm really looking forward to today just to see that because we have never seen an icon in objectives before now a couple people asked me would this impact some like dutch players on the market with getting a bird camp in objectives i mean technically Yes, I'm sure a lot of people want to try this card out because it is, you know, quote unquote free besides the time that it takes to go and, and grind the games through. I really don't think you would see Dutch cards moving that much on the market because it's not like you have to get him chemistry, right? Icons go into your team on three chemistry. Uh, maybe if you're going to put some other Dutch players in to try them out, maybe they would move a bit later on in the weekend. But of course, I'm sure it's not going to be super easy to get an icon player from objectives. I doubt people will be able to do that in like one day or maybe a half a day's time. So those would take some time to rise. So just be careful with that. Not expecting anything crazy in objectives today. Besides that, uh, icon player there which is pretty crazy <clears throat> in its own right but SBCs this is the only trophy titans SBC that we still have leaked Roy Keane uh, if that drops today hopefully they give him a nice pace boost but you know what that really reminds me of it just kind of reminds me of Gattuso so I feel like that SBC today if it is going to be keen would really not be that insane because like mentioned uh, we we just got this Gattuso which is a pretty nice card and a lot of people maybe have just done this so it's like if I just did Gattuso why do I really need to go out and get a Roy Keane that is probably going to look very similar similar to this card so that's kind of the SBC content today for the trophy titans promo but hopefully that like baby or the junior versions of some of these cards does actually happen because I'd be very curious to see how that would impact the game today and I think that would make the game a lot more exciting especially for those of us that are on lower coin amounts right so how is this all going to impact the market today because you've already seen some foot birthday players we talked about this in yesterday's video i wasn't super keen on investing in a lot of these cards but if you take a look at the prices looks like a lot of people are investing in foot birthdays because they are going up bruno gimaresh 800,000 coins he was like 730 740 yesterday hummels is going up ganduzi is going up uh, Timo Werner is a card that's up a lot as well. He was like 230 uh, yesterday, and he is up to 260,000 coins at the moment. People are investing in these full birthdays because I think what they're seeing is the potential of this promo to be only really, really expensive cards, and that has got a lot of people interested in um, you know buying some of the cheaper ones that people maybe are going to go out and use in their teams for weekend league starting today so just be careful with the foot birthdays because yes some of them i do believe have potential to rise but on the other hand you know if there is really good content today on some way shape or form of the game i do believe that some of these guys could drop um, and the really the one thing that i think is really going to be an uh, a, a big impact to the market today and we've mentioned it in a past couple of days just because it's such a big player pick SBC that is refreshing is the 87 plus um, World Cup or fantasy hero player pick now when this SBC came out last Sunday last weekend it it did move the market a bit it did because this was such a big SBC because it was like wow fantasy heroes are packable from this player pick but again if you guys remember what we found out is the pack weight on this is woeful so I don't know if I'm going to be doing this one today. I don't have a ton of fodder because I'm working on it and Kunku still, uh, and I'm one squad away. So I would probably not do that. But I think a decent amount of people are going to go after that hero uh, player pick again today. And really, I think if the market's going to go up today, um, I don't think it's going to be in all areas because I do believe there will be a few cards that will maybe get panic sold today. And I, I think you would have potential to see some prices dropping on some hero cards 
and on some just of your, your meta cards in general today, just because people will see this player pick and they will want to go ahead and do it again, just because they have the chance. Remember last Sunday, so many people were packing Alawarin. Like it was crazy how packable this card was in that player pick alone. But then of course you have the opportunity to pack the fantasy cards, which were very hard to pack, but you know, you, you give people that opportunity to do that. And if the content today is not that insane, it might just be more of a reason for some people to go out and to try to get that player pick done. So with that being said, I want to look at fodder because there's a couple reasons actually I'm going to take a look at fodder because some of it is low right now. 85s under 9K. That's really low. 86s are pretty low. 88s actually dropped off yesterday. They're around 26 to 27,000 coins. 28K right now for Ruben Diaz. Uh, but you can see, right, they were like 28K. They were down to about 26 during marquee matchups, and they're going back up a bit. Today, as people complete foot champs early and maybe get some of the rewards, we saw this last week with 90s and 91s. They got really, really low before content, and last week that 88-plus icon player pick refreshed, and 91s went right back up, right? They went way high, and they're actually really, really high right now with so many of them being out of packs for being in Team of the Week, right? De Bruyne, Benzema, Lewandowski, they are crazy expensive right now. 90k for the 91 rated cards crazy high there watch your 86 87s and 88s today because if they drop before content with the refresh of this sbc uh and it, inside of it having an 85 6 and an 87 rated requirement if you look at the 87 rated squad i think a lot of people are going to be buying 88s right you look in here you see one two three four eight 588s, 187, and then the rest, the 84s and a couple 83s as the cheapest way to fill out an 87 rated squad at the moment. So that's why I would say watch closely the 88 rated cards today. If you can get some bids at like 25K, 26K even, try to shoot for 25K on the 88s because those could be 29 to 30,000 coins later tonight if that SBC refreshes and it has a lot of hype. So I would watch out for those cards there. Now for the other part of the fodder market today, if there is not that much demand for other SBCs, like 85s, yeah, you know, did 85s go up at all even on Sunday? Let's check this out. Uh, let's go back to Sunday. Did they go up at all? They went from 9.7. Oh, yeah, that's right. They had a quick hour spike. And then they came back down. This could, again, happen today uh, on a promo Friday. You would expect it to happen a little bit less because there's going to be more packs open, the lightning rounds for the Trophy Titans promo. I do like 85s, though, at this price. Anywhere below 9,000 coins I think is fantastic for 85s for more of a longer-term hold once we start to get TOTS warm-up content because with TOTS warm-up, comes a bunch of packs that we are going to have to save and EA are going to be putting out and telling us to save for team of the season. I Again, I don't believe that's going to be today. If it is, that would cause some market panic for sure. And if you see anything about TOTS warm-up series, I would say probably start to get rid of cards that are in your team tradable and, and do it pretty fast because even if TOTS is still two weeks away, that's just going to start to get people in the, okay, it's about to get real. Team of the season is really, really close. And every time we see a warm-up series, we'll talk about it more in the coming weeks until we see it, uh, but it causes panic. So watch out for that. But during those promos as well, we see a lot of low-rated fodder rise. So we'll be looking out for that today. And again, like I said, guys, I think that 87 plus is going to, that player pick is going to create some panic today, which is why, you know, I'm decently liquid. I do have a couple cards that I've picked up. Uh, just some cards that I think are on the lower tier, lower budgets that people are maybe buying for teams. A lot of Serie A links are doing really well right now. I picked up some Raspadores yesterday at about 192,000 coins, and he is now, what is he, like 2.0 something? He, he, he kind of gets listed down to like 199, and then he'll go to like 210. Um, and I just think that this card is one that fluctuates really well. Uh, Martinelli was a guy that I picked up on Wednesday. And I picked him up for like 400,000 coins and he went to like 440. So just watch out for some of your fluctuations today because, wow, how high is he right now? 450, crazy. Um, some of these cards could be really, really good to trade with. Um, and just if you keep an eye on a couple cards throughout the day today, I think you'll have a great opportunity to make some coins in some specific areas. This, the Serie A links are being hyped a lot right now. But just rare cards in general, I would be trading with, if I'm trading at all today, out of packs specials that people maybe are buying for links to their teams. Look at Screeny R. Screeny R is 111 and he was 100,000 coins yesterday. The Serial hype is real. So Serial special cards could be good with Rabio 
and the other SBCs have been released recently. Same thing with Bundesliga, um, with the Moynier SBC being a very popular one on a low budget. If there are any Bundesliga links that drop today, keep an eye on those as well. I just think that 87 plus um, hero player pick could actually hurt a bit of the rise on the market. So just be careful with that. But I think there'll be opportunities to trade today for sure. And then uh, with the Trophy Titans, guys, I mean, anytime we get icon cards in a promo, you guys maybe have noticed this with like the foot birthday icons that we saw in the past couple of weeks. Um, or the heroes that we had during like fantasy foot day one is always a day where it, it, it's like this for all cards but these new icons that drop today and the new heroes are probably going to be pretty expensive uh to start things off last week death Sai was really cheap um and then he went down for like an hour or two and then kind of rebounded but since it's day one and these are already rare cards to begin with these guys are going to have great fluctuations like rooney uh, if we go back, like you can see, he went down to like 1.5 and then boom, went to 1.7 overnight. But then cards do definitely go down the next day into Saturday. So anything that you maybe buy today, just be careful with it because there's a lot of fluctuation opportunity. But also there is a lot of, uh, look at this for Desai. He was like low, he was under 900,000 coins. He got kind of rare, spiked back up and then got super duper rare, went to 1.1 mil, but then dropped off a bunch on Saturday. So I expect similar movements to happen. Um, not starting super duper low, but just big drop offs on Saturday per usual. We'll talk about that a bit more tomorrow as we see these cards on the market but still keep an eye on full birthday cards team one and team two because that is the most recent promo and those are the cards that people are most hyped about right now on this game and you can tell right their prices are going up from the low points that we saw earlier this week on most of these full birthday icons and for some of these full birthday cards so watch to see how the market does today in that range other than that it's kind of just like a okay ea surprises today surprises with something cool something that we are not expecting the last thing i want to talk about is uh actually a little bit of news and i'm sure you guys saw this and we're going to talk about it a lot okay heading into later on this year into the summer as the fifa 23 winds down ea sports yesterday revealed the logo for eafc 24 and with it they said hey we can't talk about it a lot but Coming in July, you're going to learn a lot more about EA Sports FC. Um, and there's been a lot of people leaking stuff about EA FC. Um, and I just want to talk about this because it was posted yesterday and there's a lot of news and a lot of stuff being talked about it. Um, for those of you guys that are excited for EA FC, join me, right? I think this, this is going to be uh, like even better than what we have known from FIFA's of past because now EA is not going to be withheld by any sort of um, other, like FIFA is not there to tell EA maybe what they should do. There's no agreements that EA are tied into with FIFA anymore. EA can run the show however they want to. And I think that kind of gives them the freedom to potentially do more and, and better things with this next game. A lot of people ask the question, Nate, does this mean that they're going to be losing licenses and losing player names? Not at all, guys. Look at all the licenses that they have down here. And I think what I think EA know that's a big worry for a lot of people, because if you ch take a look at their Twitter yesterday, they've just been retweeting all the other like these big clubs and, and big Twitter accounts, MLS, Juve, PlayStation, right? Like they're trying to get everybody on board and spread the word that ea sports fc is literally just the fifa that we have known uh but probably even better for this next upcoming year so we don't know all about the you know big time changes there's a lot of leaks out there we'll cover them as time allows but i wanted to just spend a couple minutes talking about that because uh there's no really reason to fear that that game um because it's going to be basically the same as what we've known fifa as always getting better just about every year especially with content and uh i just think they're going to have more freedom to do what they want in this next year uh, of EA Sports FC. So we'll talk about more about that, of course, during the summer, but I just want to kind of get that out there for you guys, because uh, that was some pretty big news that was dropped yesterday about the future of this game. But I'm going to try to get some sales tonight, picked up some Hollands. Be very careful with Man of the Match cards today. Uh, they're going to get supplied. There's going to be some panic selling on those because they are still in packs. These cards do not go out of packs. That's why I'm trying to get these sales here late tonight so that before content today, I can get these coins and uh, be safe with them and not have to worry about it because I do not want to hold on to this guy specifically or any of the other cards, maybe like Kimmich uh, or whatever, uh, into tomorrow because they will get supplied with lightning rounds and stuff like 
that. Also going to try to flip this Messi. Hopefully we can get a little bit of a rarity fluctuation and a Messi fan will buy that card and we will make some profit there. But it should be a good promo Friday. It's a promo Friday, right? It's always exciting. Hopefully there's some surprises today from EA Sports and some W content released with Trophy Titans. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys on Twitch stream today. It's been Nate the Vote Account and catch you guys later. Peace out.